What is going on YouTube? Sync these here back with another video and today we have gameplay of Minka Fitzpatrick and Jamal Adams. More so Jamal Adams than Minka right now. I haven't played a heavy passer that, that's willing to throw the ball consistently. I'll get that to you as quick as I can. But here's what these guys look like on my team. One second. I need to go to my item binder. These guys are absolute like I need to need them to be powered up. Uh, if you watched my video earlier, you saw that I had um, Luke Kuechly as well. Decided not to keep him, get my training back, and use the training on the abilities here for these guys. Uh, Jamal Adams comes in with 92 speed, 91 excel. I don't have uh, the plus speed boost and things like that because... Um, I need his power up to add physical counts. So he comes in at 89 tackle, 98 play rec, 93 mans, 94 zone, 98 hit power. Abs absolutely goes crazy. Um, he does the most damage in this video. Make a Fitzpatrick. I'll, I'll get that out to you as soon as I can. But, um... Here's what Minka looks like on my team, an absolute dog. 99 play rec, 93 man, 95 zone, 89 hit power, 76 tackle. Um, that's what he compares to Sean Taylor. Having them both on the squad is going to be absolutely crazy. I think I'm going to keep these guys for the rest of the year. I don't think I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to try to uh, squeeze them in as, as best as I can. Um, the abilities I put on these guys... Well, the X factor, I should say, is uh, shut down. I put them on both because they meet the... Um, zone and man threshold i wish uh jamal adams could get universal coverage but he does not so what we have on him is actually tackle supreme enforcer and lurker um he just is an absolute gun with that play wreck um minka on the other side other side we have um acrobat lurker and universal coverage so these two guys are just absolutely crazy and big dime um how i got it automatically set up if you guys are interested in using a dime and things like that um i have minka at kick return three and he automatically subs in as the uh linebacker and um big dime and then i have jamal adams over here as sub linebacker he automatically subs in and big dime don't really have to make any, a lot of changes um the reason i do that is because one it already has my defense set up i don't have to make a lot of subs in game and if somebody comes out and tries to just call plays quick and stuff like that it's already set up but without further ado man let's get into this gameplay so guys this is my opponent's team this is my team you know Redskins team team to a certain extent 45 out of 50 but um i want to tell you guys about jamal adams he is an absolute goon it's no other explanation for it um dude plays absolutely amazing only thing i can really tell you guys is that i wish i had power up um as you can see that first hit against kiddo just knocks the ball out obviously he has you know certain kims and uh abilities and things like that on him but you like to see that you know play out when you're um, in the game and that these things are actually working I also noticed that, like, this dude is great, great, absolutely great against the win. And if I got the chance to get his 91 power and, you know, all the training needed to power this guy, I would be absolutely ecstatic. So I think he's, going, he's better than Tillman at the moment. I think he will um, be better than Tillman in game. Uh, two differences between Jamal Adams and Tillman, although they are the same archetype. Jamal Adams needs the man threshold. Jamal Adams needs the, the, the zone threshold. Jamal Adams is taller. Jamal Adams hits harder. Jamal Adams uh, currently is faster. Um, obviously, like I said before, I need the power of and other things of that nature to make him really, really elite. But Tillman just doesn't do anything for me at this moment. And I'm glad that EA decided to give me um, Jamal Adams and Minka Fitzpatrick uh, out of my team of the year pass. Great way for me to end uh, the Madden game with those cards. Um, side note, Jake Stein tweeted today that for Series 5, they are working on... Um, a way to get some of his uh, mid-season upgrade or master upgrade. So, who knows if he'll be better than Jamal Adams? 
I don't see him being better than Jamal Adams, especially with the way I just explained uh, the differences between the two. Um, Jamal Adams uh, uh, has like 92 man. Highest man coverage rating is like 74. So I don't see him better than Jamal Adams at all. Um, I do see if, if EA gives us an upgrade for Pat Summon, I hope we can earn points from that and things like that. But other than that, I don't think Tillman is going to be used by many people unless you want to complete Mudmaster. Maybe they come out with golden tickets later on in the year or things like that and you need to complete Pat Tillman to get a golden ticket. But I don't, I don't see Pat Tillman being better than Jamal Adams. So let's get back to the topic at hand. Um, I, I can't explain his speed and his quickness because I, I did, I'm not able to add a physical Kim on his basic card. Um, he feels rather slow without um, physical Kim compared to Sean Taylor and uh, Minka because I, they are a little bit faster. You can feel the acceleration take over in game. Um, he is a little, I mean, I'm not going to say stiff, but like using him, you can you could, you could feel the speed difference. He is going to be able to keep up with most tight ends. He, he is able, going to be able to, um, you know, play the run against the back and things like that. Get hard. So that's a plus for him. But like I said before, getting his power up and his 91 car is key for me. Training on top of that is just crazy. Um, I just, I just can't say enough that they did this car justice. He is the best Sean Savior in the league at the moment, and he deserves uh, a car that suits that exact. Um, so if you guys are interested in picking this car, I highly recommend picking him up right here. You, you're going to see him just annihilate the. Uh, the guard or the center, I should say, and just blow up him on green. And that's certain things. Like, you can move. He's so versatile. You can move him in the box. You can put him on at strong safety in the 3-4. Uh, big nickel, you can have him at, middle, at linebacker. Uh, dime, you can have him at linebacker. So he's still a force on the one. He's just an absolute, you know, glitchy card, versatile card that you can move all around your defense and play in different uh, ways. Um, he's good against in man, so you don't have to worry about you know, tight ends destroying him. Although, he doesn't have universal coverage. He's gonna, hold up. Yeah, he doesn't have universal coverage. He's going to play them uh, way better than Tillman ever did. Um, <laughs> so, that's something you have to look forward to. Um, and then, Against the run, it's he gets a glitch in the game. You'll see later on in the game that there's not funny just sitting here throwing out routes like he's not down seven. But to each his own. Um, I I can't say enough about uh, the game is about to be changing. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, deep, uh, big down blitzes no longer are uh, like crazy anymore. People know how to pick them up. Some, some do, I should say. So, if you're looking to get into passing, this is the time to do so. Also, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, this is the time to get glitchy with the players that can stop both the run and the pass. Um, like, your safeties can now play zone, they can play man. It, they're so versed out. That's why I like about Mika Fitzpatrick. Eventually, I'll get this game, that gameplay out to you guys. But these guys are able to play both man and zone. It's something that you, know, you didn't see early in the game. It's one or the other. You have to play a little bit of glitchy coverage and things like that. But these are guys you can rely on to, um, you know, cross man, you know, do a job of defense and things like that. As Dion, look at that. Just so glitchy, so perfect on fourth down, doing what he needs to do to, you know, keep me in this game. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, I didn't get to use uh, Minka because the dude was in far slot or something like that the whole game. It was kind of limited, limits my defense. I'm not going to run big dime against far slot. He just wins 
the Let's personnel. Go. Right there. Right right there. But to each his own, to this guy, I don't know. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Terry McClellan takes a big hit from Landon Collins and stumbles. It sucked for me because I felt like this dude couldn't stop me. And then EA gives him a, you know, a fumble or whatever. It is what it is. We take our uh, lumps and get up and move on to the next play. Um, and then he goes in a strong pro. So this is where I knew, like, this dude either didn't know what he was doing or he just, he's trying to be glitchy. But eventually, you know, you see that man come out and make a play up and forth with him inside. Using Cordell Stewart, I think, power up? Or I don't know what he's doing. The zero chill card is it's just crazy out here. I don't know what this guy's really up to. Goes in the iPhone wing and watch how Jamal Adams, I believe, just comes around this edge and screaming on him. He knows him now. Nope. Bah! That's something you can't teach. His play rec is absolutely off the chart. It's just, it's just crazy, bro. I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Comment down in the comment section. Tell me if you would like to see me get this topic. Subscribe to the channel if you need. And as always, man, remember to be good. Come on. Nice, sweetheart.